The slave trader is dead. Yes, the birds brought word to me. War is a dirty business. Labor and soldiers seem to be in short supply. Killing that man has saved countless lives. You've no doubt deprived the Crusaders and Saracens of additional troops. These are dark days, when men's lives are valued in gold, and such small amounts at that. He saw it differently, claimed they were not slaves at all, that he was helping them. Do you know how it is you can tell a man is mad? They speak to air, claw themselves. No. They are the ones who speak and act as if there is nothing wrong. I don't understand. Few are the men who would admit to evil. Always rationalized. Always explained. So he lied? I was not there. Did not hear his words myself. But yes, if you speak truly, I think he was simply trying to excuse his deeds. I saw them, though. The men and women who would be slaves. They were a strange sort. Old, mad, sick. Weak, yes. What better way to make a soldier than to take a broken man and rebuild him? Give him all he's been denied with the promise of more. It seems a lot of work. It is. But what you get in return is loyalty. Knowing what it was they stood to lose, such men would be loath to betray their savior. An interesting theory. See? There is still much I can teach you. Everyone deceives. Each other, themselves. Learn to pierce the veil, and know that nothing is true. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. Better not cause any trouble. What's going on? What's he running from? He looks like he's being chased. The archer who guards the eastern wing? Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work, knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I've family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Soon the good doctor will attend to your needs. Be patient. Hold hope close. There are many in need of aid, and only one of him. He works tirelessly to serve and save. But Please these sir, things take money. time. Oh, <laughs> 
Mercy! Mercy! Don't kill me. I'll do anything you want. You serve Gagné? He... he makes me say these things. To keep the people from revolting. To give them hope and make them eager for his touch. Tell me everything you can about the man. Y yes of course I, I, I know what happens within. What he really does. Go on. Not sick, not wounded when they enter. But once he's got his hands on them, then the pain begins. He's no healer then. Just a sick, cruel man. I, I don't know what it is he does to make them cry so loud, but it must be stopped before more are made to suffer. Will you stop him? It's why you still live. He is cautious. You must pick the proper time. Go to him when he attends to the patients. He forgets the world around him, becomes lost in his work. Yes, strike then. I thank you for the information. Then you'll let me go? Would that I could. So what you got? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of. Just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? A waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Muallam has ordered the execution of Gagné de Naplus. The Grand Master of the Knights Hospitalier? Indeed. And I have already determined when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forward in memory to a... No, help! Help me! Help me! Please! You must help me! Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You others. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. 
Break his legs, both of them. I am so sorry, child. Have you people nothing better to do? He's awake. It's you. And how does it feel to be whole again? Let go your burden. Ah. I'll rest now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. Then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. What news, Altair? Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.